How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Before we get started, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and in today's video, it's going to be a cooking video. I'm making some pizza. Um, homemade pizza. So we're going to start off by making the dough. The homemade part is the dough. Obviously, the pepperoni store-bought, I usually put like to a salami in my pizza, and then the cheese is obviously store-bought as well. But we're making the dough homemade. So I'm using a recipe from uh, Pinterest that Gabby actually sent me and so we're gonna make the dough first. So let me get everything out and ready to go. Okay, we've got all of our ingredients. We've got the active yeast, sugar, salt, olive oil. Uh, this is definitely not an ingredient, it's just a cup. We're putting warm water in here. Then we got bread flour and regular flour. Now I think the first thing we need to do, um, let me find that out. <laughs> okay, we got our bowl. Uh, the recipe calls for an electric mixer, but I do not own that. Then we have our, it says to add two cups of warm water. Alrighty, two cups. Two teaspoons of sugar. Uno. Dos. Two and a half teaspoons of the active yeast. And I just smelled this. I've actually never used this. It smells kind of weird. So, one, two, and I'll say it's about half. Half. And now we've got to let that sit for, I think it said five minutes until it's like bubbly. This is a great time for me to let you guys know that I did start my gaming channel. Um, it's going to be linked in the description, but I'm going to pop it up right here so you guys know how it looks like. It's called JP Gaming. Go check it out. Uh, right now, I only have, well, as of this recording, I have two videos up. They're both Minecraft video videos. Uh, it's a uh, Minecraft Let's Play. Uh, yeah, go check them out if you guys like gaming. Eventually, I'm going to do GTA and Call of Duty 2 and then probably some FIFA. But let's wait for this uh, mixture to rest. So now, as I mix... Gabby's gonna be gradually pouring two and a half cups of flour and a half cup of bread flour into the mixture. So that wasn't as clean as it normally is, just because Gabby is the one who always does this. <laughs> I usually just roll it out and have fun with it. But I think that's how it's supposed to look. Now the recipe says to let it sit for 15 minutes, so that's what we're gonna do before we uh, take it out of the bowl and then roll it out. So in the meantime, I'm gonna do some gaming video editing. Episode three in the works. A little teaser. Oh, that's all you get. All right, dough has risen. Now it's time to take it out and plop it onto here. Okay, so bear with me. I think I completely messed this up. I was supposed to, I don't think I was supposed to put any flour in it first. I was supposed to put olive oil and then divide it into bags and then set it in the fridge. Pizza, 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 pizza. The pieces are very uneven, so it is what it is, am I right? So now these bags are gonna be in the refrigerator for one hour. It's currently 4.04, um, we'll take them out at 5.10. It says an hour, or the recommended is actually overnight, but your boy's trying to eat some pizza tonight, so we're just gonna do an hour, a little over an hour. All right, pizza's in the fridge, and also leave a comment down below what toppings you guys like on your pizza. Um, one really controversial topic is, do you guys like pineapple on your pizza? Well, 
Would you eat pineapple on your pizza? Because if you liking and just eating it, it's a different thing. So let me know down in the comments what kind of toppings you guys like on your pizza. I really always just go for cheese, like always, pepperoni, sometimes salami, or maybe even sometimes uh, sausage. So those are my main four. But I'm a really big pizza guy. So honestly, stuffed crust pizza is also the best too. I need to learn how to make that one day, one day. But we're, we're gonna see how the pizza turns out today, see if stuffed crust is in my league or not. We are actually on our way to Kroger because Gabby wants mozzarella cheese on her pizza instead of meats. So it's like slices of mozzarella with, what is, what is the other thing, spinach? Basil, so mozzarella and basil pizza. So we're on our way to Kroger and then we might, I know we don't have any salami so we might get some salami, but who knows, we'll see. Okay, we're at Kroger. Um, I'm also looking for a hydration drink that KSI and Logan Paul came out with called Prime. I've been looking everywhere for it, but literally I cannot find them anywhere because they're all body armors like that. No primes in sight, unfortunately. Finally home. Let's cut some mozzarella. Yeah, let's do it down the middle. Because that way we'll have the slices that we want. We're just gonna cut it like this. Okay, I think that's enough. Um, let's go ahead and get the the dough out. Let's take this out and plop it onto the pizza rolling skills are not the best. So do not judge me. So far so good. Kinda. Nice. <laughs> but it's okay. All right, let's do this. Right, doughs are made. That one, I messed up a little, there's a hole, but hopefully that turns out well. Okay, pizzas are out. They look very lumpy, but they're gonna taste way better than they look. We're gonna go ahead and put all of our toppings on them. That one's mine and that one's Gabby's. Mine looks very basic. Um, that looks way better than mine, that's for sure. So we're gonna bake it at 475 for eight minutes. That's what I th remember it being. Um, we're gonna check on it in eight minutes. If it needs more, we'll obviously give it more, but I'll see. I'll show you guys the final product and then a taste test. Okay, pizzas just came out of the oven. They look pretty bomb. Um, the crust is a little wider than what I would want it to be, but it's gonna taste really good. So this one is Gabby's. Holy cow, that looks perfecto. And then there's mine. I probably shouldn't have added the salami, but I like the meats. That looks so good. I can't wait to taste this. Okay, so here's my pizza. That's mine. So, let's go ahead and do a taste test. For homemade pizza that was made by me, that's pretty good. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a, drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment about what your favorite pizza toppings are, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.